Hi everyone, welcome to We Read Traveling with Jesus channel. I'm Alice from Los Angeles. Together with the We Read team, I'm going to read some Bible verses for you today. Have a blessed day. A channel of holy gospel readings available in three languages, Indonesia, English, and Italian. Now you can access the reading in Indonesia and English separately every day and the readings in Italian available only on Sunday. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Supporting by Weird Fans Magni and our team to make an interesting content. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, console me, tell me what I should do, give me your orders. I submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Amen. Daily Readings, February 17, 2022 Thursday of the sixth week in Ordinary Time A reading from the letter of St. James My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you are there to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person with shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, Stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinction among yourself and become judge with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that He promised to those who loved Him? You dishonored the poor. Are not the rich oppressing you? And do they themselves not hold you off to court? It is not they who bless them the noble name that was invoked over you. However, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbors as yourself, you are doing well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol His name. I sought the Lord and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to Him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress He saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, your word, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A reading of Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them, 
that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he returned around and, looking at his disciple, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Saint of the Day for February 17 The Story of the Seven Founders of the Servite Order Can you imagine seven prominent men of Boston or Denver banding together, leaving their homes and professions, and going into solitude for a life directly given to God? That is what happened in the cultured and prosperous city of Florence in the middle of the 13th century. The city was torn with political strife as well as the heresy of the Catholic, who believed that physical reality was inherently evil. Morals were low, and religion seemed meaningless. In 1240, seven noblemen of Florence mutually decided to withdraw from the city to a solitary place for prayer and direct service of God. The initial difficulty was providing for their dependents, since two were still married and two were widowers. The aim was to lead a life of penance and prayer, but they soon found themselves disturbed by constant visitors from Florence. They next withdrew to the deserted slopes of Monte Scenario. In 1244, under the direction of Saint Peter of Verona, OP, this small group adopted a religious habit similar to the Dominican habit, choosing to live under the rule of Saint Augustine and adopting the name of the Servant of Mary. The new order took a form more like that of the men- mendicant friars than that of the older monastic orders. Members of the community came to the United States from Austria in 1852 and settled in New York and later in Philadelphia. The two American provinces developed from the foundation made by Father Austin Morini in 1870 in Wisconsin. Community members combine monastic life and active ministry. In the monastery, they led a life of prayer and work and silence, while in the active apostolate, they engage in parochial work, teaching, preaching, and other ministerial activities. Reflection The time in which the seven Servite founders lived is very easily comparable to the situation in which we find ourselves today. It is the best of times and the worst of times, as Dickens once wrote. Some, perhaps many, feel called to counterculture life even in religion, as all of us are faced in a new and urgent way with the challenge to make our lives decisively centered in Christ. Prayer to Mother Mary for the end of the pandemic. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, in the present tragic situation. When the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God, and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died 
and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who in order to prevent the spread of the disease cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may done anew. Plead with your Divine Son as you did at Cana, so that the families of the sea and the victims be comforted and their hearts be open to confidence and trust. In the present tragic situation, when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Protect those doctors, nurses, health workers, and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity, and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who, in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel, are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solution to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by far-sightedness and solidarity. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died. Mary, most holy, stir our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need make us strong in faith persevering in service constant in prayer mary consolations of the afflicted. Embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope do with and trust ourselves 
or clement or loving or sweet virgin mary amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, and Saint Joseph, forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. May through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and the prayers of Our Lady, we will all be freed from the curse, filled with joy, love, and receive the blessings of Abraham, which God blessed in all things. Exaltation, healed, the ability to endure suffering and still bear fruit, prosperity, victory, humility, and favor of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, those are the readings for today. We hope you enjoy it. And see you again tomorrow from Will It Traveling with Jesus. Goodbye.